Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Phoebe and I paint a lot. Paint a lot of different things. In today's video, we will be painting, drum roll please, brrr, my guitar. Yeah! And I know I don't play the guitar, but it has no use just collecting dust in the corner of my room, so I decided to paint it. I hope you guys really enjoy this video and keep watching and let's get to painting. Okay guys, I really did record painting this um, vine thingy in the first place, but as I look back, I was moving my hand way too much and since I had it on time lapse, it just looked like there was an earthquake because I'm recording with my left hand and painting with my right, so just enjoy me touching up the vine I already painted off camera. <laughs> Alright, so for the next method to make this certain type of flower, I will be using paint packing where you just add two different colors of paint onto your brush and kind of just put it onto the surface of what you're painting. It, it's easier than just doing one color at a time and it makes a more natural effect, especially when painting flowers. Alright, these flowers may look like they're done, but as you look at anything in nature, you can tell that nothing is completely white, nothing is completely green. So you have to add some different colors to make it shaded in. So here I am adding some black to make it more of a natural color and to make the flowers give it some dimension. So I recommend doing this for anything you paint. Nothing is completely one color if you truly look at the color. So for these flowers, I'm not a flower expert, so I have no idea what they're called, but I'm going in with the stipling motion, and you don't just want to lather your paintbrush and go full in painting. You want to give it, use some different techniques, some different motions, and how you apply the paint. So I'm doing this to give it kind of like a fluffy texture, and now I'm going in with lavender to give it some depth and dimension so that there's some lighter parts, some darker parts, and later I will add white to them just so they pop out more. You don't want them to be one color because then it'll just look flat. All right guys, you guys are probably really tired of me saying this, but I just wanted to tell you guys again I'm going in with brown because not every color is just one color. It has a variation of different colors. And I'm going to be doing that for the lot, um, these leaves too, but I just recorded the base coat, so I'm sorry about that. Hey guys, so I finally finished my guitar. So I really hope you guys liked my guitar. The verse I used was, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastes 3.11 And when painting my guitar, not guitar, I can't speak English, I've been on winter break 
quite too long. <laughs> Anyways, I finished this guitar like about two weeks ago. It's just, you know, procrastination is working at its finest, even when I'm on winter break and I have literally nothing going for me at the moment. I still find ways to be unproductive. Oh well, anyways, I'm finally uploading this video now. But painting this thing um, has challenged me to want to actually learn how to play the guitar. But obviously I won't be doing that anytime soon since while I was trying to paint that little guy right here, this little sunflower, I was trying to loosen the strings. But I really don't know how to play guitar, so I kind of went tighter <laughs> instead of looser. And the string bursted in my face. And I was blinded. And it made me very sad. But anyways, it should stay in place. I'm going to hang it on my wall. For one of my other videos, I will be doing the back and I will do it correctly. With actually sanding it, painting it, and then adding the high gloss. Hopefully, procrastination doesn't get in the way of that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed painting this guitar. And, well, see you next time. Rock and roll! See you later, alligator.